The secret is out. New Yorkers are the least friendly people in all the land. Well, at least according to Big7Travel.com, which ranked all 50 states for friendliness. New Jersey didn't do much better, taking the 46th spot. In first place, Minnesota. You may have heard the term Minnesota nice. Big Seven says it's called Minnesota nice for a reason. The atmosphere in the Twin Cities and beyond is hard to match with a homey feel and locals who go the extra mile to welcome tourists. All right, we're not so sure we agree with our own scores in New York and New Jersey, but we figured let's get to the source of the nicest people in the country. Joining me now is Carissa Smith, born and bred Minnesotan. Carissa, welcome to Chasing News. How you doing? Doing well, thank you. All right, do you agree with the results? Are Minnesotans the nicest people in the country? We are very nice people. Uh, we do like to strike up a conversation in the store. It's very common for us to all stop at a four-way stop sign, waiting for somebody to go first. That just sounds very inefficient to me, Carissa. New Jersey and New York, there's a little bit of an edge here. We don't waste a lot of words. There's not a lot of pleasantries. We get to the point. We just like to talk. <laughs> so we'll strike up a conversation with any stranger at the store. Is it real nice though, or is it kind of like what you get in California and the South? A little bit of hospitality, but they're judging you while they're looking at you. I'd say those are very genuine conversations. However, if you have a different outfit or a different haircut, you know, similar to mine, we'll tell you that it's different or it's interesting. We won't tell you it's ugly. <laughs> Got it. Interesting. Worst word to hear. <laughs> All right, Carissa, thank you for joining me today. Yes, no problem. Let's bring back tonight's A-plus panel, Republican strategist Jeanette Hoffman and Democratic strategist and attorney Bill Caruso. Bill, start with you. What do you want, Bill? You buy this? You buy all this? That we're the rudest people out there, not the nicest? Yeah, I do, and I think we're entitled to. We're in the most uh, powerful, one of the most uh, heavily crowded uh, regions of the world, right? We have, we, we, we are entitled to a little bit of an edge. What do you think, Jeanette? I like the edge, personally, because I think it's authentic yeah. and it's real. You travel in some parts of the South and you travel to California and I feel like it's fake nice. Who needs that? Exactly, and right? I have nothing nice to say about this study, Bill. I think it's garbage. I think we're real, we're direct, we're not fake, and I think that's the best way to be in life. I agree with Jeanette. I think this bluntness is important. I think we don't have time for a lot of shenanigans around here, and so you, yeah. what, you get what you get here. There's no, there's no fooling around, no beating around the bush. It's straight up real. No no wasted words. Exactly. We live in a very fast paced world. If you can't keep up, get out. Love it. There you go. Thanks, guys.